Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into AI art generation, you've probably heard about the amazing Flux models. They're known for producing stunning, realistic images and offer some unique advantages over other popular image models. Today, we're diving into a fascinating project called Flux Gym. This awesome repo created by Cocktail Peanut offers a dead simple way to train your own custom Loris using the Flux models, even if you don't have a ton of VRAM. Flux Gym builds on the powerful Koya SSSD scripts, which are a go-to for many in the machine learning community. And to make things even easier, I've put together a Google Collab notebook that simplifies the entire process. Now, before we get too excited, I want to set some realistic expectations. Training these models, especially in a collab environment, can take a significant amount of time, potentially hours. Google Collab's free tier offers around 15 gigabytes of VRAM and a bit less than 13 gigabytes of RAM, running on AT4 GPU. These resources are decent, but not ideal for computationally intensive tasks like flux model training. This means you might encounter some slowdowns or hiccups along the way. The good news is that I'm actively working on improving and updating the Collab notebook to enhance training speeds and reduce the overall resource requirements. I'm committed to making this process as smooth and efficient as possible. In the meantime, I've created a tutorial for anyone who wants to explore Flux Gym and the power of custom LoRa training within Collab. We'll walk through the entire process step by step so you can get hands on experience and learn how to train your own personalized LoRas. The best part is, if you have a more powerful GPU at your disposal, you can easily download this Collab notebook and run it locally in your own Jupyter notebook environment. This will give you more control and potentially faster training times. So, if you're ready to unlock the creative potential of Flux and LoRa training, stick around for the tutorial in the next part of this video. We'll guide you through the setup, the training process, and show you how to start generating unique AI art with your custom models. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. All right, let's jump right into the tutorial. First, head over to my GitHub repo, link in the description, and click on the Collab link in the middle of the page. Before we start running the project, locate the arrow icon near the Connect button in your Collab session. Click on the arrow and select Change Runtime Type from the drop-down menu. In the Hardware Accelerator drop-down, choose the T4 GPU option. This selection will enable us to leverage the power of the T4 GPU during our Collab session enhancing the performance and efficiency of our computations. Once you're back in the collab, it's super simple. Just run each cell, one by one, starting from the top. The cells will automatically handle everything for you, downloading the necessary repositories, installing the required dependencies, and even downloading the flux models directly to the correct folders. When you reach the final cell, the one that says Python app.py, click the play button to start the server. You'll see a Gradio share link appear in the terminal output. Click that link and it will take you to the Flux Gym training page UI. Now, let's set up our training. First, give your LoRa a descriptive name and type it into the name of your LoRa field. Next, write down the trigger word or sentence that you'll use when generating images with your LoRa. This trigger is crucial. It's how the model will recognize and apply the style or concept you've trained it on. For the VRAM setting, since we're likely using the free version of Collab, select the 16 gigabytes option. This is currently the most stable option I've found for this environment. The other two VRAM options led to errors and couldn't finish the training process when running them. I'll be honest, using the free version of Collab can be a bit frustrating. Users have reported their sessions getting cut off due to reaching Collab's daily limits or simply by idling for too long. If you want a smoother experience with more powerful GPUs and less worry about your session restarting, you might consider signing up for Collab Pro. It's about $10 a month and can save you a lot of headaches. Let's go through some key training settings. Repeat trains per image. This controls how many times each image in your dataset will be used for training. For this demo, I'm going to lower it to 2 to speed things up, but keep in mind that this will likely reduce the quality of the final LoRa. The default value is 10, 
which is recommended for best results. Max Train Epox. This sets the maximum number of times the model will cycle through your entire training dataset. 16 epochs is a common setting for effective learning. Again, for this demo, I'll reduce it to 2 to save time, but understand that this will significantly impact the quality of the LoRa. Expected training steps. This is usually set to 0, which lets the system automatically calculate the training steps based on your dataset and other parameters. Sample image prompts. Here, you can enter prompts that will be used to generate sample images during training. This helps you visualize the model's progress. Sample image every end steps. This controls how frequently sample images are generated during training. It's a useful way to track how the model is learning. There are more advanced settings available under the Advanced Settings tab, such as Resolution and Saving Frequency. For now, it's best to leave these at their default values as recommended by the original creator. I'm intentionally keeping the settings simple for this demo to manage the training time, which can be quite lengthy with more demanding configurations. Now, let's add our training images. In the Dataset section, you can drag and drop your images directly. While there's no strict rule on the number of images, I suggest aiming for around 15 to 20 for optimal results. When you're selecting your images, make sure they are high quality and clearly represent the concept you want to capture in your LoRa. Include variations in lighting, angles, and backgrounds to help the model learn a more robust and versatile representation. Once your images are uploaded, it's time to caption them. FluxGym comes with a built-in auto-captioning feature using the Florence 2 model, which is surprisingly effective despite its small size. It will automatically download the Florence 2 model and generate captions for each image in your dataset. When you're ready, click Start Training to begin the process. The training logs will appear in the Train Log section at the bottom of the page, allowing you to monitor the progress. Training times can vary greatly depending on your settings and the available VRAM. With default settings, expect it to take a few hours potentially even longer if you're using the 12GB VRAM option. In my demo run, each epoch took around 30 minutes, which isn't ideal, but it's a step forward. The training consumed about 11GB of RAM and just over 13GB of VRAM. I'm hoping to see further optimization in the future to make this process faster and more accessible. Once training is complete, you'll find the LoRa model files in the Outputs folder within the FluxGym directory. To download them, right-click on the LoRa file and select Download. If you encounter any errors during the download process, you can use the final cell in the Collab Notebook to download the files directly. Simply right-click on the LoRa file in the Outputs folder, copy the path, and paste it within the file name quotation marks in the final cell. Then, click the Play button to download the file to your local Downloads folder. Now, Place the downloaded LoRa file into your designated LoRa folder in your preferred image generation program. I'll be using ComfyUI, so I'll put mine in the ComfyUI slash models slash LoRa's folder. If you need a refresher on setting up ComfyUI and its dependencies, check out my previous Flux Gunf tutorial, or consider subscribing to my Patreon. There you'll find a personally crafted Windows, one-click installer for both the Flux Gunf and NF4 workflows. This installer automatically sets up ComfyUI, installs dependencies, and downloads the necessary models for you. You don't have to do anything but click and install and start up Comfy. To test your newly trained LoRa in ComfyUI, load a Flux GGUF workflow with a LoRa node. I'll provide a link to one in the description. Select your LoRa in the LoRa node and start generating images. Let's see what our LoRa can do. I'm not expecting miracles since we only trained for two epochs instead of the recommended 16, but it'll be interesting to see the results. Well, the results aren't as good as I would have liked, but this was expected. Remember, you can experiment with longer training times and different settings to improve the quality of your Loris. I'll continue to keep an eye on the Koya SS GitHub repo for updates and optimization techniques that we can incorporate into this Kylab notebook. Feel free to rerun the training process as many times as you like, tweaking settings and datasets until you achieve the results you're looking for. If you have any suggestions on how we can further improve the training speeds and efficiency of this Collab notebook, 
please share your ideas in the comments below or join my Discord server. Link in the description. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more AI art and machine learning content. Until next time, happy creating!